Hi friends, welcome to the Plain Fun RC channel. I'm your host, Saul, and we have a brand new unboxing for you for a brand new build, and it's the Volksplane VP1. This is a 40% scale based on the very popular home built that you can purchase here in the United States. And this particular kit is manufactured by Aeronaut. It has a fuselage length of about 88 inches and a wingspan of about 117 inches. It'll use a 33cc gas motor on, and on up. We're gonna be using brushless doing a 65cc outrunner motor. It's a perfect plane if you're looking for something lazy to fly or maybe perhaps you need something to tow some gliders or tow some banners. So let's do our unboxing. Let's take a peek and see what's inside the box. All right, friends, as we go ahead and then begin our unboxing, a couple of things I wanna, that I've noticed right off the bat. In the far right corner right over there, uh, we see some water damage on the box, and that has me concerned. Now, the other thing that has me concerned is the lack of packaging. Now, you're looking in here, and there really was very little bubble wrap that keeping the wood in place, so that's got me concerned right off the bat. But let's start with our biggest part here. This is our cowling, as you can see. Uh, it's wrapped quite well, and much like the full-size Volks plane, it's almost like just a, a giant cube. So we can see here it's just been wrapped in some... Um, just some plastic. So let's go ahead and get rid of this, open it up, take a look at it, and let's see what we've got. All right, so it's a fiberglass, looks great, very nicely done. The white gel coat on the outside, which is always really nice, it makes painting and prepping the fiberglass that much, e that much easier, because it's just that much less prep that you actually need to do. Very nice. All right, very good. Nicely made. All right, let's set that aside. Let's take a look at some of the other stuff we've got here. All right, we've got another large bag here with some bubble wrap around it. This one just has a nice rubber band on it, which will make things a little easier. And let's see what we have here. So it looks like what we have is the turtle deck which is the part that goes behind the actual uh, cockpit. A little yellowed, but it's still a white gel coat, so no problem, easily prepped. Very good on that one. Okay, so in addition to our turtle deck, we have a really nice windshield, good size windshield too, as you can tell. This one is, is very cracked, oh my goodness, extremely cracked. So we'll definitely have to go ahead and order up a new one there. Like I said, it was just poorly packed. And there's a lot of cracking on this one. So we'll see if this might still be salvageable. And if not, then we'll have to go ahead and get ourselves another one. Disappointing there. Very disappointing. Okay, we've got a very nice set of aluminum landing gear here. Very nicely done. Nicely cut. Very sturdy. Very well made. Now the instructions are in German. Uh, if you have Google Translate, you can go through and, uh, and of course translate the instructions using Google Translate. It's a wonderful app. You just point your camera right at it and then uh, it, uh, it automatically goes through and uh, translate, it translates everything for you. Now there are no plans, which I found out from the manufacturer, which really stinks. Uh, apparently everything is sort of explained in terms of how it goes together they say it's not this kid is not they told me uh they, they said this kid is not for beginners which is fine because i've been building for a number of years probably 40 years or so okay we've got a nice set of wheels here five inch wheels very lightweight they look great we also have a very well put together hardware bag we're seeing a very nice a Sullivan brand wheel, a tail wheel. We've got some fiberglass pieces. More than likely to join the wing to the fuselage. And we've got uh, fiberglass uh, uh, control horns and some dowels and lots of hardware. So this is a very nice uh, hardware bag. There's a hole in it, so hopefully nothing has gotten out and uh, been bent. Now I do see some fully threaded wire that is very bent. I'm hoping that is supposed to be that way but I'm more than likely based on the packaging I doubt it but that's okay we'll get we'll straighten it out no big deal 
All right, so we've got some wood here, some uh, wood and aluminum pieces here. Nice pack, some spruce. Now I'm seeing something which is rather disturbing. I'm seeing a lot of broken pieces. As you can see here, we've got a nice broken piece and that's not good. And I'm sure that's due to the poor packaging. Now it doesn't look like the laser cut parts themselves are broken, but if they were, it's no big deal. It looks like it's just the actual die uh, that, that it was cut or, or the piece of wood that it was cut out of, the pieces were cut out of. So I think we should be okay, but We'll see what happens upon further examination. But uh, we've got a nice wood pack. Everything is laser cut, which, uh, which is fantastic. Very nice. And it looks like we've got parts that are labeled too, which is very helpful, as you can see. All right, we've got some more wood here. Some of it looks a little damaged. Not... Once again, poor packaging. And let's see, it looks like some trailing stock here. In addition, uh, we also have a really nice carbon fiber rod. Now what's so interesting about the Volksplane is that it doesn't have a rudder or an elevator. It's a full flying surface vertical stabilizer and full flying surface horizontal stabilizer. So with the vertical stabilizer, the rod, the actual rod itself, it passes through the ribs and the rod gets inserted into the fuselage and this is actually what it pivots on. So this ought to be very interesting. Makes it a very unique plane because of that. And some more broken pieces. Now we've got some more, uh, lots of spruce. Lots of spruce here, as we can see. Spruce is wonderful wood to build with. We have a lot of laser cut parts here, a tremendous amount. So we've got, it's, it is wrapped a couple times over in the cellophane. So let's go ahead and cut open our cellophane here. Now we got it. All right, looks like we've got ourselves a, uh, a rib and a couple other parts. I do like that they not only laser cut it, but as you can see, as I mentioned a second ago, they did lay, label everything, and that's nice. That's a big step saver, especially when you don't have a set of plans. You really want to have everything labeled so you know what each part is. All right, we've got some more laser cut parts here. Whew. Very, It's a very thin ply, but you could tell that they just pop right out. We're just going to lift them up like this rather than taking out the whole pack because it's such a, a, a massive number of parts here. Now, these are in great shape. No cracks or anything so far. That's nice. That's good. But the laser cutting is very nicely done, as you can see, which is always a plus. I do, I do like that. It makes building a lot easier. Looks like we've got some fuselage formers here. This gives you a size. Look, at, you get, look compared to my hand, this gives you a size of the, of the fuselage. It's a basic box-style construction. Uh, and that's what makes the full-size Volksplane so appealing uh, to, for, to first-time home builders is its basic box-style construction and Hershey bar wing. Uh, we've got a couple other formers here as well. Or, uh, not formers, looks like something for the wing. And just a nice, nicely cut pack. Laser cut pack apart. Look at it, they just fall right out. That's always nice. Always nice. All right, I do want to keep going through this because I want to make sure there isn't any damage, particularly water damage. Like I said, that's very distressing when you see water damage to a box, um, especially when it's a kit. The very light ply, though, I'll tell you that much, very light, which is great. We've got some ribs here. And some more formers for the fuse. I'm gonna break it. Uh, and some more parts. Looks like fuselage parts. Let me shift these over a little bit so I can get these on the box. 
it because it's just getting a little difficult to maneuver as it's getting heavier. Okay, continuing with our unboxing. Like I said, we've got some fuselage pieces here. You can tell by the general shape and the length. I don't think it's going to take that long to build this. I think I might be able to get it fully finished in about three months tops. We've got more ribs underneath. Okay, more ribs. Very nicely cut, as you can see. And definitely more fuselage parts as well. All right. And some formers under there. All right. Once again, our fuselage pieces here. Now we've got a little bit more room to, move, to maneuver these. There we go. Okay, so we've gotten some of the larger pieces out of the way. Um, and just trying to see if there's anything else that really is uh, uh, worth mentioning. Not really, just some other pieces here. Um, do see a, a broken piece, but that's it. I mean, there's some other smaller broken pieces over there. I don't know if they're actual parts, but it just looks like there might be some scrap wood that, that fell out. So, all right, very good. So that is, uh, that's, that's the kit. It's a, it's a nicely cut kit. Just poorly packaged, obviously, and we, we have some parts that are going to need some attention. But uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead. We're going to get started with our build, and I hope that you'll follow along because it is a rather unique kit. It's not often you see someone building a Volks plane uh, in a 40% scale. Uh, so this will be real exciting. All right, friends, more to come.